All right, which expression are we gonna use here? Let's see. Uh, well, if we look at distributive property, um, we know this has got to be a negative here, so I guess I could rule that out because that's not going to be negative there. So one of these ones, um, 28y, if it doesn't start with y, not going to be that one there. This would be y squared, so it's not going to be that one. We're left with this one here. If, and we can just check that, 28y, if we multiply 28 by y, and then... 28 by negative 3 gives us negative 84. Equivalent, really we only have two like terms in this case, right? So we have x plus y. We can't add them together. They're not like terms. And then plus 7. I can rearrange this in any order, um, and those would all be equivalent, okay? Uh, obviously here, probably we're going to perform the distributive property, so right away that will change the form, 2n, and then 2, so minus 8, then minus 12, and minus 3n. And I can combine those, although it's already written slightly different, so you could argue that that's equivalent. Um, so if I combine, let's see, 2n, and then it's minus 3n, that's just minus n, and then minus 20, right? Uh, equivalent expression here. Ooh, you could change these to fractions too if you wanted to. Um, but distributive property once again, so 0.75n uh, minus 0 0.75 times 8 is actually 6 because it's 3 quarters of 8. Um, and you could use a calculator for that, but we we're going to get negative 6 plus 0 0.5 times 4n, that's a good mental math one, so that's half of 4n, which would be 2n, right? And then multiply here, we get half of 12 minus 6. And we've got like terms, um, so 2.75n, right, if we add those together, uh, and then minus 12, right? Okay, those are all equivalent.